Are you serious? Are you serious? There is a heat wave of biblical proportions and wildfires, wildfires. They ran calling wildfires. Seriously, Colorado on fire with the third largest a wildfire in the state's history. Several buildings burnt to the ground. Evacuations taking place. California, wildfires raging. I-5 shut down near Ashland, California. People are being evacuated. It's a threat to humanity. And also Oregon, massive wildfires along the Oregon-California border with forced evacuations there. Uh, We do not know how many structures have been burnt to the ground yet in Colorado, California, or Oregon. We're working on those numbers, but there is definitely, with the heat, no rain, high, it's just, it's it's dry, it's like, it's like kindling wood, it's insane. And speaking of heat, it's apocalyptic in heat in Quebec, Canada. 33 people are dead, the lethal heat wave. I know I just came back. I preached in Toronto, Canada all weekend. It was the hottest there they had seen, and they didn't know how long. And I preached in a packed church. Uh, I mean, packed, so packed that the air conditioning unit could not keep up with the the heat. And I preached four four sermons. I sweated through suits. Seriously, there was no way. Unbelievable, but it was an amazing conference i have to tell you that but uh uh wow anyway canada really serious quebec's lethal heat uh wave is coming to an end maybe hopefully uh but 33 people are dead uh older men were found sitting in their apartments with temperatures as hot as 35 degrees celsius details on the victims emerged as the public health officials have focused on how to deal with the weather disasters such as heat waves that are expected to increase frequently now in Canada. Canada believes it is climate change. They believe that that it is some kind of global warming. Uh, And so they don't know what to do. According to scientists, there's patterns of extreme heat uh, increasing, scorching heat. What You see... During the Canada Day crowds, I know that. I was there on that day. It was unbelievable. Uh, but let me just say something. Uh, let's, does the Bible mention anything about scorching heat? And the answer is yes. Uh, and I believe it's in the 6th chapter, but I could be wrong. It could be the 8th chapter. Give me a second. Let me just double check, okay? I didn't have that pulled up real fast. Uh, no, it must be the 8th. It's either the 8th or it's the, um, sorry for this, uh, should have been ready for this. I should have been ready. Let me look at the 16th. Should have been ready. Here it is. Revelation 16. The fourth angel poured out his vial. This is Revelation 16, 8. Revelation 16, 8. The fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun. And power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat. And blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. Are you serious? So just keep an eye on what's going on, folks. I'm serious. Heat waves, raging wildfires scorching from the sun, radiation's up right now, 13.8% increase in solar radiation from the sun in the last two years on this planet. You have to hear me. So there is an effect in place. There is a shaking going on in the heavens. There is volcanic eruptions taking place around the globe. Uh, We are breaking records every day with earthquakes, 235 earthquakes now in the last 24 hours. The lava is flowing. Uh, It's just getting worse by the minute. uh, The epicenter of the apocalypse is certainly Hawaii. And while all that's going on, I want you to stay in in Guatemala volcanoes, Hawaii's volcano, 
the two different volcanoes erupted in the Galapagos Islands, Indonesian volcanoes erupting. Uh, so there's all kinds of things. Yellowstone is trembling. There's even a new, uh, called a hot rock, but it's actually a super volcano now under the Northeast, under Vermont. Uh, there's just so much going on in these last days. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places. These are the beginning of sorrows. I need you to understand that. The earth, whatever's going on in the spiritual world will ma- manifest in the physical. Now, you don't need to run around uh, feeling all depressed and, and don't lose your joy because the Lord hasn't given you the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. And, uh, it, you know, a merry heart maketh like a medicine. So I, I know we're in the world, but we're not of the world. But you do need to understand what's going on in the world. And the, take the biblical, take a look at the current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We are in the end times. The heat wave is on. The wildfires are raging. And the apocalyptic weather will increase. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Live broadcast. My guest will be secular radio host Clyde Lewis from the Ground Under, uh, called uh, Ground Zero. And we're going to talk about occultism. We're going to talk about this doomsday cult. They just hung seven members of it in Japan this morning. We're going to re- re- we're going to reflect on David Koresh, Jim Jones, Marshall Applewhite, and some of these other apocalyptic doomsday cults and how Jesus said in the last days, these type of false Christ and false prophets shall rise and deceive many. Why is that? Why is that happening? They'll deceive them because they don't know the word. That's why I'm out here. Talk. I'm not afraid to talk about the end times because I know what the word is. Somebody better be out in the last days talking about what's really going to go up. Blood moon is coming. All right. And don't be afraid of it. It's just, it's an apocalyptic sign. It's going to be the longest blood moon of the century. And it happens to be happening in the 70th year that Israel's been a nation. In the one year, this year, the year that Jerusalem became the capital of Israel, the eternal city of God, it's happening also on the day that Mars will have its closest proximity to the earth in 15 years, and the second closest to the earth in 60,000 years, same day, okay, and a whole lot more. There's a lot more happening on that same day. It's just unbelievable. Are you saved? The blood moon is coming.